everybody, and welcome back to Star Girl Beauty Channel. I'm your host, Mimi. Welcome. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to click the button below and subscribe because we are doing weekly giveaway. And that means every Friday we're going to draw one lucky winner. And then not only that, you can share comments with other people about makeup, share your makeup passion, and you can win some of the beauty products and bring home. All right, so today I wanted to do something that I have never done here, but it's very embarrassing. As you can see, maybe through the camera, I have never done any declutter before because I'm just holding all my makeup products. So today I finally decided that I should take out some concealer, some, and then I really need to declutter some of them because I'm sure some of them are like over two, three years old. I'm really shouldn't be using them. I want to smell them and I want to look at their texture and see what's up with them. So let's begin. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is Bobbi Brown and I don't know how long I have this one but let's see. It has a little mirror inside. Doesn't smell anything. Uh, this one reminds me of a Laura Mercier. Same thing. It's in a square, uh, uh, in a square uh, compact thing but it has two sided for you to custom make your color. This one is still very creamy. No smell at all. Oh, actually, I am wrong. One side is the cream, the other side is actually powder. Now that I feel about it, yeah, it's a powder. This lighter, this uh, yellow side is actually a powder. So that's good. So it's for you to set also your um, eye. This is called sand. Yeah, so it has a creamy concealer and a sheer finish pressed powder. Oh, this is kind of nice. I don't even remember. I was. I need to start using it. All right, so I put it back in there. And so I want to start with. Oh, another Bobbi Brown that I have is just like a little pot like this. This is a just a creamy concealer, uh, in beigey color. Beigey color. So it must be from the under eye. Yeah. So it's like darker, beigey color. I think I will use that for my under eye. It's probably. Um, I don't know for my face. Yeah. It's. Kind of yellowy. Mm, again, I don't smell anything and I don't see anything in there. Keep. I don't know how many I will throw out actually. Well, but, but make sure I do will throw out something. Something. Make sure I throw out something. <laughs> Otherwise, there is no point doing this um, video. And the next one is All My All May. All May. I remember I bought this one not too long ago from CVS. This is a fair. Same thing because at that time I thought I was one. I, I use it too. I can see that. At that time I wanted to, I don't know, have something to mix, you know, like a different stage. You look at people on YouTube, a different thing, and then they prompt you to buy something. But this doesn't, very, doesn't feel very smooth, this thing. Yeah. No smell, but uh, I don't know. Like, look, if I swatch them, it's kind of like the texture kind of looks weird. Not like the Bobbi Brown. So, I don't know. Yeah, maybe this one I'll throw it out. Yay, first one's throwing in the trash can. So, all me, I'll throw it out. And second one is also a pot. This is a Shadow Spot Cover Foundation. Oh, so this is a Spot Cover Foundation. Ooh, this one looks really bad. Look at that. This one is probably very long time. I don't know if you can see. I am not even going to touch it. Throw out, right? Throw it in a trash can. These are very new. I remember I just bought it like uh, very, very recently. All these bought. I have bought. I bought two Anastasia concealer. Uh, are they different color? Yeah, one is zero point seven five. One is one point zero. Uh, I put it next to my desk to use them. They're really pretty. Very, very creamy. They're not the liquid form. They're like very creamy. Sometimes like if I have a blemish, very red, those liquid isn't doing the job. Then I go into this pot and they really work. I, I really like them. And then also I have a um, light vanilla. This is a um, complete concealer from NARS. At one point, I think I heard a lot of great things about this NARS jar concealer everything is like oh they're like like very comparable for the to the liquid one they're so creamy they're so good so good so i also bought one but this color i don't know it looks weird why the hell come it's so pink i don't know it says it's vanilla light number two i don't know so this one is pretty recent so i have to keep it all right so i think that's all the jar that i have mac i i still like mac product and let me see 
Mm. Mm, this one doesn't look as good. This, but I like the application. It's just like a little brush tip. And it's very, very high coverage. And I love this MAC stuff. But is it bad? But it's really good concealer. It's really good. This one is called... I don't even know what it's called. Uh, oh, this is the, the mineralized, mineralized concealer. Yeah. So can I keep this one, Mac? Yeah, maybe I'll keep it for now. And some of them I'm sure I'm keeping is because there are things that I'm using on a daily basis. Like this ELF 16 Camel Concealer. I think I bought another one, different shade from Ulta recently. And this one I'm using it. So definitely keep. Also another one I'm using on a daily basis is this Infallible L'Oreal. I told you guys before. So definitely this is keep. Uh, there's no, no, no need to throw away. And then the Tarte, I'm also like sometimes using them in a, is a you know like alternatively one is a sample one is a full size what is the full size is light and the sample is what light sand actually um i think they are okay they're okay and today just for the sake of clearing things out i was using this Ulta one, yeah, this one that I have for a while, it's in my um, wine glass because it's a very reason. So I put it there, all those are my recent purchases that I'm using, but I'm not really that happy with it. First of all, the shade is kind of weird, like, like, like very pink, like so, but it's still kind of new. I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it, but okay, put it here. And this one is bare minerals, bare skin. I have no idea how long I have this stuff. And then, yeah, it doesn't smell good. I oh whoa whoa whoa, a dog, a water is dripping down too. So definitely no good, dangerous. Throw it out. Another one is very new. Is this bye bye under eye? It's very new. Mm. But I rarely reach out to it because it's very thick. To me, how can you put this in your under eye? It's so very, very thick. Low. It's hard to even pump it up. But it's extremely creamy, though. The texture is great. It's extremely creamy. And the coverage is just excellent, excellent. So maybe I really should start using. Maybe don't use that much, you know. It's a great concealer. Great one. But to me, it's just kind of thick. So maybe I... Dab it out on my hand and then dab it under eye, right? I need to start use it more often because it's quite good. I think it's maybe thirty dollars, but look at the tube. It will take you for forever because you only need tiny little bit. So I will start using this one. Uh, the other one I already know that I really should throw away is this. This is a I have it quite a few years now. This is a benefit like this bottle. The idea is you have the concealer in the middle and then you have some balm around it to make it very creamy and make it moisturize. Yeah, but I have this for right kind of long. I like the packaging too. It's very pretty, but it's kind of too long. So I really don't think I should put it on my face. Right? Not safe. Right? Toss it. Next one is this next. Next, uh, it's just a, what is this? A, this is a NYX HD concealer. Yeah. Uh, also, why is the color so pink? Are they changing color? After a while, I don't even like the shade. Look how it, it's just too pink for me. And I don't remember when I bought it. So I don't think I should use it. Next is this Maybelline. Also, I just don't like the color. Look at the Look at the color just by through the tube. Why is like this? Maybe I was darker previously. Yeah, I I I don't I don't want to use it. Mm, yeah, I don't want to use it. It's a big round swatch that I just did. I don't want to use this color. I don't like it anymore. So toss it. So I have another one that is from Ulta now. Actually, I don't hate this Ulta concealer. The other one, the shade I don't like, but this shade I actually like. Yeah, this is the shade that I like. They are more on the moussey side, very mousse um, feeling. And yeah, I like this one. All right, so I maybe we'll mix these two together because I don't uh, think I bought them too long. They're not that old, so I can keep them. 
Next is um this is called a Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. Wow, this is definitely a huge accomplishment. Look at the two. Oh, it's like two third. It's gone. Since when I use so much of this concealer? I don't remember using this ever, but looks like I have been using it. So this one must be good because so much is gone. Yeah, very thick too, but extremely creamy and extremely high coverage. Very, very high coverage. Yep. So this, let me just finish it. I will keep using it and I need to finish some. And then next one is this. It's from, what is this brand? I think I saw this brand from, oh, Koki. This brand is available at a uh, Rite Aid. But I think I get this. I didn't buy this. I think this is from a Ipsy bag. But uh, honestly speaking, I think it's a very, very lightweight concealer. Um, I don't think it's doing too much to cover up. Um, but it's very new. So I think I'll keep it and give it a second chance as you just try it. Okay, I spotted something that I definitely will throw out immediately. It is this hard candy, what it is. I, I don't even think I bought this little pencil. It must come with one of their palette or something. Yeah, but these pencils, look, first of all, I don't like pencil. And they are not creamy. They're very tugging. Yeah, so you can use it for toys, I guess. Next is another MAC Pro Long Concealer. I love this MAC Pro Long Concealer. At one point also, they're like the hottest item on YouTube, the makeup community. Like everybody is using a Pro Long, long, pro long Wear Concealer. Everybody is using it. But this shade now looks very dark to me. This is NC20. Look, did it change color? Like I said before, why is all this concealer becoming so dark? I have no idea. So, um, uh, oh, okay. So after it come out, it actually is not that, but it's very yellowish. How come? What happened? Yeah, what happened? Look at that. So I didn't use it that much, but look at that. So, all right, I will try to use it again and try to use it up because after all, MAC product, I think they're good. If your skin is not too overly sensitive with them, they do work. Next is this Sephora. Also, it's pretty new. I remember I bought this Bright Future. This is called a Gel Serum Concealer. Very sleek packaging, nothing fancy. Just like that, have a doe food uh, applicator. Yeah, very, uh, it's a, also a lightweight kind, very liquidy. So, um, summertime, I think I'll like it. And I like the shade too. I do like the color. So I'm keeping the Sephora one. And then the next one actually is another Bobbi Brown. I missed it. But this one is a, a stick form, not those uh not those pots. So this is also I think I bought this uh tape one when I had a, a uh, when I had like blemishes, which I need thicker concealer, but now I don't really have large pimples or breakout. So I think this will be kind of too thick for me. Even these jar, now I'm not reaching out to them as often as I used to be. So thank God, thanks for the Korean skincare that I'm using. So that one is gone. Uh, next one is Makeup Forever Full Cover uh, Camouflage Waterproof uh, uh, Concealer. Also, it's a very liquidy one. Uh, but I really, really like the shade. Really, really like the color. Yeah, I love the color of this concealer. All right, so let me put this all together on a basket. Next is a Milani. Oh, I think I bought this last year. I still remember this Milani, uh, Milani uh, concealer because I like the applicator. Look, it has a little spongy thing on the top. And then it is called the Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. Yeah, so I like the applicator and I like the color too. I love the color. The shade is very, very nice. Yeah, so I need to really use it, not putting it away and forget about it. Next one is this uh, Maybelline Master Conceal. A lot of people love these. I have a lot of their master line primer, and this is a concealer. I think I was putting this upstairs in my, in my vanity upstairs to use it. So that's why I'm not reaching 
is so much downstairs here but nice very very creamy not so liquidy perfect i actually really like it too yeah and then it dries fast not like the other uh, one um milani is on the top it's still wet but look at the uh, maybelline master conceal it's already drying out so that's pretty good um then another one is this next gotcha yeah i wanted to try this after the i don't remember but i do remember buying this from ulta it's a ivory shade gotcha cover because it says i wanted to try this one so yeah i remember buying this one but i forgot to use it after i bought it <laughs> i don't remember where i put it so again it's kind of like a moussey shade yeah very moussey but oh extremely creamy oh i love the texture a little goes a long 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 way look at that it's the top one here yeah all right so the milani is starting to set but look how how long it takes so definitely need to set this kind of concealer versus the um maybelline on the bottom is like it's no longer wet it's already kind of completely dry already so there are just different texture all right, so that one is a keep. I will use it. Also, this one, uh, Better Skin from Maybelline Super Stay. I keep it upstairs in my vanity, but I probably will just put them downstairs here now that I can use them. Yeah, very, very nice texture. No wonder people love this. I mean, generally speaking, Maybelline is a good brand at the drugstore. Yeah, I like Maybelline. These, what is this? Oh, this is very old. This is a bonjour. What? what what is this brand where is this brand from france i don't even know made it where oh made in germany yeah this is a germany brand but it's very popular in hong kong in australia in that area but let me see okay so this is just a pen but color the shade i don't like it looks kind of dark yeah toss it i don't like it anymore all right so um next one is this wet and wild oh this one is kind of new wet and wild uh it looks brand new too you see the uh, concealer corrector photo focus yeah. oh when they come out with the uh it has the foundation right the focal photo focus foundation to match with this concealer yeah so that this is the dover concealer pretty good mm, yeah but the shade looks kind of pink to me all right i i will hold on to it for just a little bit longer Put it on my thing there what is this this is an elf concealer all right another one of those stick form i don't like them as much these nowadays yeah they're kind of they're also the shade is completely wrong it's just wrong the shade is just it's darker it's pink tone so definitely toss this one out yeah all right i think we're almost done <laughs> and then this is another one of those good one maybelline fit me concealer yeah i like the packaging a lot it's a square tube it's very tall very skinny uh, i like skinny and tall and then yeah very great texture love this stuff really just just really need to remember to use them you know like come on actually another one oh so i have two of these maybelline fit me but why is this shade so dark look at this compared to these what was i thinking so this is definitely no good yeah 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 even though it's still very very nice i don't smell anything they're okay but this one i th i think is a wrong shade again so i let me toss that out oh and this one is new because it's a revolution uh, makeup revolution concealer and define gray concealer to gray concealer I'm sometimes using it uh, besides my 16 hour comma uh, concealer and the um, L'Oreal. So this one, I, I am still using it. In fact, I might just use it two days ago. So that goes in there. And what else is here? This one is a, oh, LA Girl. LA Girl, you know, there were so many people talking about it on YouTube at one point and then it's just, then I ha I thought I have to buy it because they said it's a great concealer, it's cheap, $2, it is a pan, a brush pan, but again, what is the shade, what is wrong with the shade? Like that, I don't know, I hope you can see my swatch, but um, no thanks, and I don't think I'll buy it again, now that I know, I already bought it, right? 
This is kind of one of those YouTube made me buy it. Another one is this Urban Decay Naked Skin, uh, Urban Decay Light um, Naked Skin Concealer. Again, I, I think this is a wall shade. Why is it dark? Yeah, why is it dark? I need something lighter. I, I don't know. Should I throw it out? It, it is Urban Decay. After all, it's almost like $30 a tube, but the color is raw. Let me spend a little bit more time before I toss it. I'll just keep it for now. And then these pen, I just don't like them. Outright don't like them. This is a CoverGirl True Blend. Those pencil, I don't know even why. I don't even know why I bought them. All these pencils are definitely throwing up. This is a L'Oreal True Match. Look, it's like, like, Totally dried out. This is embarrassing <laughs> because I never do this stuff. And this one, what is this? This is a oh Maybelline Brightening Creamy Concealer, another pan. But this one looks okay. This one looks still very moist. So very creamy. No tucking, no undrying. What happened? But it doesn't smell good. Really doesn't smell good. So it already went bad, unfortunately. But hey, if I see this in, this is a dream. Maybelline Dream Brightening Creamy Concealer in Fair. Uh, if I see this in, uh, actually, I probably will let me, okay. Actually, this one, I think I'll rebuy it. I'll repurchase it. Let me keep it here, and, but not inside the basket. But I need to go on Amazon or Ulta to find a new one. But this one I like. And then the next one is Revlon Photo Ready. This kind of stick form again. They are just like, and then they come up with foundation like this, just like a bigger bottle, bigger tube. These are concealer, those are foundation. Um, the texture is very, very nice. The texture consistency is so very creamy, even though it's a stick form, but it's completely non-drying. I just said that Revlon is an old school brand to me, right? But this is good, but I think it doesn't smell good. Yeah, I think I have to toss this one. Doesn't smell good. So, um, next one is this CoverGirl, um, again, another CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous um, Liquid Concealer. I like the shade. The shade looks very good. Doe foot applicator again. Yeah, the shade is very light, definitely very brightening. If I use it, I like it. But let's see. Mm, I think this one is okay. I'm smelling the other stuff from my hand previously, but this one is okay. I'll try to use it. Yeah, try to remember to use it. The next one is, oh, look at this packaging. I do remember this, but as you can tell through the packaging, this has been, it has been some time ago, a while ago. How do you, oh, okay, so it's a pen. After you un open that, it's a pen. You, I, do you click? Yeah, you click and then it did the brush pen comes out. This is nothing to come out. Whoa. No good. It squashed something out. That means it's destroying my makeup thing here. But anyway, okay, tossed it. Nice packaging, but after a while, they separated. So it's becoming like water and water and the pigment and the pigment, they separated. This video is taking for so long. And the next one is Pure Pure Minerals Disappearing Ink 4-in-1 Concealer. It's in light. Oh, this is a gift. Last time when I placed some order, they give me a gift. But uh, again, it's a little gift sample, but like there is not much in there. And the shade I really don't like. It's a very, very watery consistency too. Consistency too. Yeah. So also the shade I don't like. So sorry, I won't try it. And the next one is again a pan. This is uh, the... Dream Lumi Touch or L'Oreal. I remember Dream Lumi is from. Yeah, this is L'Oreal thing. Oh, sorry, it's Maybelline. Maybelline Dream Lumi Touche uh, line. Uh, that is one of those click and brush pencil. It's kind of already dried out. Is it separated? Something. Yeah, so okay, it's not separated. Not like the last one that the squats are go crazy. Still very, very creamy. Hmm, actually, it's pretty good. Not bad at all. Look, highly, highly pigmented. Great coverage. What's up? So I have three places. Mainly here, I put on my makeup. Sometimes I'm upstairs in my vanity bathroom. And sometimes I'm at my desk while I'm working. So this, I put it at my desk.
I am telling you all my secret personal stuff. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Next, this is a again L'Oreal True Match. Oh, so I got them mixed up. This is the True Match, but this one is different. It has a like a sponge. But do you know they only is it really that's that much they give you? Or have I used them all up? I never use this stuff. I never use it. Where did all the product go? I don't know. Yeah, but this one again, kind of. Now I like this has a sponge so you can blend it out, but this one clearly is a wrong shade and it's kind of already dried out. I don't know. Maybe it is maybe there's supposed that way. But these two I actually do like. I'm going to need to go to Ulta and find a new one and repurchase them. But this old one, after I repurchase them, I'll throw these two out. These one is all oh, physician's formula. It's that super CC uh thing. But this one is a no toss. Alright, and what is this? This is a cargo eye base. So this is not a concealer. This is a eyeshadow base, I guess. I don't know. One of those twist pen. I actually don't really like this kind. Yeah. And the shade is again so pain. What what is this do? Is it for your under eye, for your dark circle? I don't know. Now these these these, these twist pen things, sometimes they just like they never come out and then suddenly they just flooded out very problematic all right this one is a rimmel match um again youtube made me buy it. some some youtuber using it grave about it holy grail whatever and then I, oh again one of those brush pen and i don't like but this is no twist you just oh but the shade i really like and the texture i really like okay i take it back thank you youtuber for raving about this it's it, it is very very good but I'm sure this I have it for quite a while. Again, number three, I'm going to have to find it and see um, if I can repurchase this at the new, fresh, you know, too, so I can use them. Uh, this is a cover X. Oh, it's just a sample. I don't know where, but I'm sure, like, forget it. And then the last thing I have is this camouflage from Hard Candy. Again, some YouTuber, some people really like them, use them, saying that they're very a dupe for some high-end brand, whatever. And then I go buy them, they're like a dollar. But, oh, this color I really, really like. This is a heavy-duty concealer. They are extremely pigmented, very thick, yeah. Oh, uh, no, they're not very thick, they're thick. They're pigmented, look at that. But this shade I really like. But they don't smell good, unfortunately. So again, but this one I really like. Not only that I like the texture, they're not as thick, but it's very easy, smooth out, and then um, the shade I really, really like. So I'm saving this one to find a fresh bottle. And this one I'm sure I don't like because it looks darker and pink. So I'm sure I don't like this. I so and then I don't need two shades. I just need that one. This one definitely is also toss it. Yeah. So, but this color is not bad too. E also not bad. So what are the difference? One is light, one is ultra light. I save those two before I buy it. I'll test out the shade one more time. So there are four things that I want to repurchase. These four, and then now I'm down to just in this little basket. Actually, I probably will go on a second round because there are something that are kind of iffy to me. Like this one is iffy. Um, you know, there are a couple of things that I am probably will screen them again and just throw them in a second stage. But for now, this is it. And for now, I will not put my concealer here. I'll just take turn and use all these so that I don't forget them. Put them in a very handy position. All right. So today, thank you very much for helping me to declutter a lot of my concealer. Some of them, I know it's very embarrassing because I never done that. So some of these are probably over three, four, five years old and mm. just really need to throw it out. And I'm sure there are a few that are hiding somewhere in some drawers in some room, I'm sure, because I remember I have them, but I don't see them. I can't find them right now at this second. So we will see. All right, so thank you so much for watching and staying with me for this declutter thing. Next thing, I don't know what, what I need to declutter. I don't know, maybe lipstick. We shall see. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to be the star of the show. Thank you very much.